Hi guys, in this video we're going to make a Vanellope from Wreck-It Ralph. This video is a collaboration with one of my favourite YouTubers, Koali Pops. If you haven't seen his channel, do pop over and have a look. I'll put a link in the description box below this video so you can find his video where he's going to be making Wreck-It Ralph. Now I've started by icing a cake drum. It's a 10 inch one I've got. And I've got a spherical tin that I baked just a little sponge cake in. Now I coloured my sponge pink. And I coloured some buttercream like in a turquoise colour to match my board. Now I'm just going to layer up my sponge. So I cut the sphere into a few different layers. And I'm just going to put buttercream. I'm very messy with this and my cake's quite soft. So it is falling to pieces a little bit. Sometimes I put it in the freezer to firm it up and I haven't on this one. And you can see it took a while to bake so it's a little bit darker on the outside. So what I'm going to do is just cut off the outside edge trying to keep it still in that sort of half ball shape. And I'm going to cover that in a layer of buttercream. So we're mixing some fondant and modeling chocolate together for this one. Just because I thought it might take me a little while to work with it. And it's just going to give me a little bit longer and it's going to be a little bit firmer. So I've rolled it out, placed it over my cake. And then what I'm going to do is just put some lines in. So I'm just using a modeling tool here. Again, I'll put links in the description box to what I've used. Pressing quite firm, but not so firm that you burst through the fondant. Now I was going to do these lines all the way around but I decided just to do them at the front and then all the way around the bottom edge I've just pressed in like this. I'm just going to add a little bit of colour so I've got a deeper pink that I'm just brushing in between the creases that I've made. Now Vanellope doesn't usually wear a dress but I really like the scene where she turned into a princess very briefly. So I thought this one would be ideal for our doll cake. I'm just going to spruce up our cake drum before the fondant on it has time to dry. I'm just pushing in some little edible pearls. We're going to put stick some of those onto the dress as well. Now I'm just sticking them with water but you can use edible glue. I'm going to put a trim on the edge of her dress. Now I'm just using fondant but I should have probably used modeling paste because it would have been a little bit firmer and easier for me to use. Just going to put it along the bottom edge and I just use like a little clay tool extruder for creating this shape. And what I'm going to do now is we're going to put some ruffles around her dress. There's quite a lot of fondant on this cake so you want to roll it out quite thin and I've made like a giant donut kind of shape. And then I'm going to kind of concertina it as I'm sticking it onto the dress. So starting at the bottom, we're going to go all the way around. Just leaving those pleats that we've kind of drawn in at the front or that we've pressed in with our modeling tool. Each time we add another layer, we're going to overlap it. Now I've also added a little bit of white fondant so that my pink gets a little bit lighter. There we go. So you see we've just repeated the process as we go further and further up the dress. So it's getting much lighter in colour. If your little strips are too long, that's fine. Just cut them off at the edges. And then we've got a bit of white fondant. Don't go too big. And we're going to kind of cut out a squiggly shape. It's a bit like a paint splat. And this is going to just sit on the very top. Now mine was just a little bit big. So I've cut a bit more off. It's just going to sit on there like that. If you need to add water underneath, just stick a little bit of water on. Again, I'm just going to add a few more sugar pearls now to this. And you can see I actually painted over some of the sugar pearls quite untidily. Um, <laughs> they were harder to paint than I thought. So I thought I'd have a bit of a go with ice malt. It's not something I use and not something that I'm very good with. So I've cheated and used a lollipop mold. I've just put it in and I've put some little sprinkles in with that. And I'll remove that once it's set. Now I've got a plastic cake dowel. It's like a large straw this one. And I'm just popping that into the middle of my cake. And I'm just filling it with fondant. Now I'm going to put her body into this and it's going to be on a kebab skewer. Like a wooden kebab skewer. So I'm going to slide it into the middle of this. There you go. Can you see like that? And the reason I haven't put this one straight into my cake is that it just had a little bit of wood splintering off it. We're going to make a body and I've actually used fondant. Now I don't normally use fondant, normally I would use modeling paste, but I had plenty of pink fondant so I'm going to use it for the body but I've mixed it with Tylos. And we're keeping the shapes really basic, like two sausage shapes for the arms. Now we're not going to eat the body itself so I'm going to push some cocktail sticks through the arms to support it. And I'm going to cover her entire body in glitter. Now again, this, this glitter is classed as food contact safe, but you're not supposed to eat it. But we're not going to eat her body anyway. I'm just using some piping gel all over and then we're going to sprinkle the whole thing in glitter. I've just got a little strip of pink that we need to stick onto the front. Now ideally let the glitter dry because if you're like me, you will keep touching it and it'll stick to your fingers and it will come off the body. And you'll see that mine does that later on. Just a few pearls on the front. Then I'm going to carefully push the body onto my skewer. You can see the glitter went everywhere when I did this. Let's make her some little hands. So we start with a ball, we'll squash it down and then we're going to cut in some fingers. 
I'm going to push them onto the ends of those cocktail sticks. I'm going to select my best lollipop that I made with my uh, with the ice malt and I'm going to put a hand around that lollipop stick handle. I've pushed it into the dress as well. Oh, hands moving around a little bit. So some thin strips of white fondant or even modeling paste would be better for this. Just concertina up around her sort of sleeve, the bottom of her sleeve and then we're going to do the same with pink. Just give it a good push down and then let's roll some little teardrop shapes in dark pink and these are going to go all the way around the outside edge of that body. I've just put a little piece of kitchen roll just under her arm just to stop it dropping down till it sets. So it should be fine by tomorrow. And I do actually have modelling chocolate now for the head and the neck. So I've kept quite a chunky neck. Now I've added a little bit of skin tone food colour into this and a tiny bit of caramel ivory as well. Just a strip of pink around the neck as well. Let's decorate this with an oval in the middle. And then let's stick some tiny little sugar pearls all the way around the edge of this. Now you don't have to use the modeling chocolate like I have done, you can use a modeling paste. You could even try it with fondant, but I think fondant's a little bit soft. Now her head is very large. So I've opted for a polystyrene ball in the middle of my head, because remember we're not going to be eating her head or her body, it's only her skirt that's going to be eaten. So I've put my modeling chocolate onto the polystyrene ball, and then we've pressed in lightly where we want those eyes to go, creating some little eye sockets. For the nose, just a really basic oval. And then we're going to open up a little bit of space in the mouth, just using a little craft knife. And then we're just going to nudge that up. She's going to look not very happy on this one, but that's fine. So I've marked two lines where I want her eyes to go, and then I'm going to kind of hollow out that eye shape a little bit with my balling tool. And then let's just give her a little bit of colour by brushing on some edible pink dust. Again, I'll put links below the video for everything I've used. Now let's create the eyes. So just two pieces of white. Modeling paste again is a little bit firmer. We're going to cut off the bottom. So it's kind of curved at the top, straight edge at the bottom. We're going to push those into those little eye sockets that we've made. And I've got a really pale green that I've rolled out and cut two circles from. And then two smaller circles in black. A little bit of water going in the eye to hold these in place. Let's have a looking up. And then we're going to put a piece of black over the top of the eye. So it's nice and thin at either end of that piece of black. Similar kind of thing for the eyebrow. It's thick at one end, nice and pointy at the other. Let's put some lines in so her eyebrows look a little bit hairier. And then I'm going to paint on her individual eyelashes. Now you can use like a gel colour, or for this one I've used a powder and I've just mixed it with a little bit of water. And then let's add some more colour to her eyes. So I've got a bit of chestnut, keeping it quite watered down in the middle. Can you see lots of little lines around the middle? And then I've gone for the gooseberry around the outside edge. Okay, if it goes too dark you can just wipe it back out with a brush and then a tiny dot of white to give her a bit of a sparkle in her eye. Same on the other one. Then ears, we've got two balls, we're just going to press them down in the middle and I'm going to stick them on either side of her head, quite close to the back of her head and no higher up than her eyes. So they're quite big, they're not as obvious when we give her hair. Just give them a little bit of pink dust as well to match the rest of her face. And I'm going to give her some little teardrop earrings like little icing teardrops and then let's push her head onto the body now make sure that you don't squash her head too much when you're doing this and I'm gonna now add some black modeling paste to the back of her head if it's a bit too firm her head will move around quite a lot so knead the paste enough that it becomes really soft and pliable and then I'm gonna put some little lines in apologies that it's a little bit blurry when I was filming this bit so towards where her ponytail is. I'm not sure if actually it's a ponytail or a bun, but that's fine. We're going to work on our front pieces of hair anyway. So we've got a teardrop shape, pressed down flat, and then we're going to add some little lines to it. You can even cut into it slightly. And let's just stick this onto the front of her head. So I'm just bringing it so it comes a little bit lower down than her ear. There's a little bit of water where I'm sticking it. And you're just going to do exactly the same on the other side of her head. So it starts with a teardrop, lots of lines in it. And then let's put the back piece of hair on. So I've rolled just a piece into a little roll so it looks like a bun with some lines in it. Give it a good press on and I'm putting plenty of water on her head because we're going to add some more sugar pearls for decoration. I've got a tiny piece of the bright pink for a headband and then another sausage of bright pink and I've kind of ended up with it out of shot so I do apologise. It's just kind of concertinaed together to create a little pattern for the top. If you want any of your sugar pearls a bit darker just give them a little bit of paint try and go a little bit neater than me. This time I'm using modeling paste, otherwise it's not going to be firm enough with fondant. 
and I've cut out two circles using like the fluted edge and then I'm using my piping nozzle to cut out little circles from all the way around so they look like two little doilies put plenty of water on these where they're going to come into contact with the back of the head and press them on really nice and tight otherwise they will fall off she does actually have sprinkles along the bottom of her dress which I completely forgot about but there she is all finished apart from the sprinkles now I can't wait to go see the new Wreck-It Ralph film I couldn't choose which character to do for this one let me know who your favorite character is in the comments below if you haven't seen Koala Pop's channel do pop over and have a look he's got lots of amazing videos on there and he'll be making Wreck-It Ralph in cake I hope you've enjoyed the video and thanks for watching if you like the video be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.